Let's finish up our work on the next flexi line. Let's go ahead and work on our scaling control. We'll go ahead and add a custom parameter to our chest control. Let's go ahead and alt right click and grab an attribute holder. And we'll rename this to extra controls. Great, we'll press Alt-1 to grab our parameter editor. We'll work with a Boolean, and let's go ahead and name this neck vol underscore active. Go ahead and enter. We'll need to adjust our width. We've done this already, so we should already have the steps down. I'll go ahead and now choose Add. All right, so with the chest selected, let's go ahead and Right click and choose wire parameters. It's going to be modified object, extra controls. Let's go ahead and grab our new parameter here and tie that to our Flexi Global's active channel. All right, so we use the lower arrow and choose connect. All right, so once that's taken care of, the next thing we'll want to do is work on our scaling control as it applies to each expression. So we could start with bone object D. With that selected, we'll go ahead and press the up arrow to get to BNDRV D. We know what to look for already. Let's go back to the motion panel. Let me close out of the parameter editor so we can get some more screen space back. We'll go ahead and expand the scale list and let's get to the x-axis, right click and choose properties. So we'll go to the global variable and we need to make sure that it looks at our global controls scale y. Well, that's the center of gravity. Let me go ahead and collapse that. Here's anim global. Go ahead and expand that. Scale, scale y. There it is. All right, so we'll go ahead and choose OK. And now we need to debug the expression to take a look at our new length, which is 4.0148. Now, this might seem like a, a large number, and you might ask, all right, why not go ahead and round this value out? It's best to work with the exact value so we get the exact results that we'd expect. So we're just going to go ahead and work with this value. It's not bad at all. So again, that's 4.0148. I'll close this out. It's going to be 4.0148. All right, let's go ahead and copy that value. And we'll go ahead and reevaluate our expression. All right, great. So everything is working just fine. We can now go ahead and close out of this and do the same thing for the other channels. So I'll pause the video and take care of that since we, again, already have the steps down. Let's make sure to take care of the Z channel next, and then we'll need to update the expressions on C and B. Alrighty, so each expression has been updated. We'll go ahead and close out of our expression editor. And now we can work on doing a little bit of cleanup work. Let's go ahead and hide the flexi hidden layer for the neck. We can go ahead and take the global node as well as the connect curves and add them to that same layer. We'll go ahead and grab our bone objects and add those to our bones layer. And we'll make sure to take the mid-bend control and add that to the controls layer. We'll also want to add the prefix anim. Great. And then we need to work on making sure that we can control this object a little bit easier, kind of like what we did for the back control. So let's go back to our snap tool. Press the S key. We'll go ahead and find our line tool. We'll go ahead and create another square curve. Alright, let's go ahead and right click to exit the line tool and press S to come out of snap mode. And let's go ahead and align this to the mid-bend control for the neck. I'll go ahead and show the character just to check the scale. And it looks like we might be able to decrease the scale just a little bit here. That looks good. So now we'll go ahead and Hide the character again. Let's go ahead and select our mid-bend control. Head over to the Modify panel and attach our new shape. 
let's right click to exit the attach tool and test this out so everything's going to work just fine you go ahead and grab the chest control and start to move that around again everything is going to work just fine good all right let's go ahead and I'll right click and choose not freeze transform but transform to zero okay need to be very careful about that all right well that is clean and that's good to go we've made sure everything was stored in the layer needs to be stored in so it's a good idea to check that from time to time we'll go ahead and start to hide a few items go ahead and hide our controls great hide the hidden layer great everything is where it needs to be so I'll go ahead and show those layers again and it looks like that is going to do it for the next flexi system so what we now need to do is work on another progress check just to make sure that everything is working successfully so let's go ahead and do that and what we'll also do is work on locking down certain control objects that should not transform in, in certain directions so what that means is we don't want our chest control to scale and we also don't want any scale and control for pretty much any other control object that we've added so we just want to make sure to lock that down from time to time so we don't have to worry about that at the very end so that's what we'll spend time doing in the following lesson